I followed the, the selection of the Seman for, for a long time. Uh, I've seen some wonderful films in the, in the section, even here or, or in other festivals, it's always a very strong and diverse selection. Uh, I have friends who have uh, introduced very uh, important films for Colombian cinema here. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, when, when I was invited to be a part of the jury, I was uh, very honored and I'm very happy to discover this, this year's selection. I've learned a lot from criticism. Uh, I, I've had the chance to, to read uh, critics who have really a very contagious way of, of, of making you enthusiastic about cinema, about the language, and uh, and uh, and for, in in, the, in my pro my learning process, it, it has definitely played a part. Now, as a filmmaker, uh, I I prefer to let critics do their thing and speak to the to their own audience and, and uh, but I, I think as a filmmaker it's not good for to be for you to be influenced by by critics because you need to force your own path and, and you need to be only true to the, what you want to say as a filmmaker so uh, I, I, I respect the, the work of critics a lot uh, but I think the, 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 as a filmmaker you should I mean they, are, they should be speaking to the audience not to the filmmaker. A film festivals are a, a space of resistance uh, to, uh, there's an overwhelming amount of power that wants us to all watch the same films and, and only have one view of the world be present. So film festivals uh, are, are the space in which the diverse forms of cinema can resist. Uh, not only cinema as an art form, but also cinema as a, as a means of artistic expression and also a means, as a means of political expression. And, uh, and you can, uh, so they are the spaces in which uh, the cinema of the world can come together and cinema of the world can be celebrated and can be an, an enthusiasm for cinema of the world can be uh, spread out. Uh, if we didn't have festivals then we will, then, then the diversity of cinema would be would have already been obliterated by the, the machine of, of power. For me, short films are a language in itself. they are not, uh, they are much more than just the, the school for a filmmaker or, or, or a means of formation. Uh, they are a, a language that is much more complicated than feature than long, than long feature films, because uh, the, the amount of uh, you, you have such, such a, a limited amount of time to convey your ideas and your thoughts, and uh, that, so you have they have to be tremendously clear and, trem and you have to be tremendously articulate in order to, to be able to express yourself in, in such in, in a short period of time. So I think I find it more difficult than expression through long feature films because in long feature films you have time to develop characters, to develop your ideas, to develop your themes. And in short film uh, you have to, you know, the, 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 it takes a special talent and a special skill to, to, to be able to convey it in such a short amount of time. So I respect it a lot and, and I see it as as an even more complex language than, than feature cinema. So I don't see it just as a school or as a... In terms of production, it, it certainly uh, can be uh, a means of, for, for a filmmaker to start understanding the language of cinema, when, when, but, uh, but as a language, I think it's its, its own thing and, it's, uh, uh, and it's, uh, it's, it deserves all the respect, as much respect as uh, the feature films. When, I'm, when, when an actor uh, when, when I look at an actor and I can see everything uh, and everything is visible and everything is clear and explained, then I am not interested. But uh, when there's something that I don't understand, that, uh, that, that makes me want to go deeper. Uh, when there's something that the actor is hiding from me, when the actor is keeping something to him, for himself and I'm only trying to access through what he's allowing to show, um, it, it can be fascinating and uh, so that mystery is what I'm always looking for in a performance and what seduces me. I think uh, great films reveal themselves to you they, uh, and they tear down your expectations and your prejudices and uh, so uh, I try to come as, as blank as I can to a, to a movie uh, to, to allow it to, to speak for itself. So I try to keep my expectations to nothing uh, as much as possible uh, and, to, and to be as blank as possible for the, for the film to fill me in. Uh, 
because I've learned that expectations are very diff are, are a bad thing in cinema. Uh, when you come into a, when you go into a film with great expectations, you are most likely to be disappointed. But when you are expecting nothing, there, there's a bigger chance of you being surprised and you being caught off guard. And uh, and I think we should be we should be off guard in, in terms of cinema. We shouldn't be. We should be open to what the film is bringing, not, not, not what we think it should bring or what we expect it to bring.